Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I'm just checking out how much black plutonium we got. So about 1,200 from that, and I believe um, it is finished. Actually, there is some right there as well. So I actually got about 2,000 uh, from that. I think it was two veins. I think, yeah, two veins maybe. I don't remember um yeah so there is the black plutonium unfortunately it's not you don't there's no vein for it it's just the small um ores but uh yeah got a decent amount from that um obviously if i put up about <laughs> 15 chunk loaders and just did the whole thing um we'd probably get more but i'm not about to fill up my entire a system with stuff i don't need um, for instance, I already have 30,000 gold dust, and a lot of that was magnetite veins, so, uh, yeah, I need to start voiding some of this stuff, even. Got 9,000 thorium, 11,000 crushed uranium. Holy cow, we did get a lot from that. All right, um, but the reason we needed the black plutonium was to make the raw growth medium. Let me take a look at that. It is black plutonium and mericium, which that is pretty expensive. Um, not expensive, it just takes a long time. Um, luckily, we just got a whole bunch of the lutetium from our uh, the reactors. It kind of, you get a whole bunch, you get 300 and something um, all at once, and then you don't get it again for a few hours, unfortunately. Um, so I'm thinking... Why don't I go ahead and, I don't know. Yeah, why don't we do that? Actually, let me, um, I'm gonna do, I'm always like so nervous about, uh, the reactor like voiding stuff. Um, I did figure out uh, what I, think had happened was uh when I was crafting geronium it was going along here and it actually crafted titanium at the same time maybe or and it kind of came along and since they're on the both things maybe it just didn't get far enough to it but I would have thought like the geranium would have come out and made it down before the titanium would have been crafted and down but I don't know I think that maybe how the geranium uh got kind of messed up and also, I did, uh, looking back, I um, I forgot I had crafted a whole bunch of these uh, plates separately, so that's how I ended up with a whole bunch of extra. Um, I ended up crafting 120 of these, thinking I would use them, but then I went ahead and crafted more for the, the Tier 6 recipe, but uh, yeah. Alright, so there's the chrome. Why don't we go ahead and... Yeah, let's just do like, I guess, 300. The only thing I'm using the lutetium for is the mericium, so I might as well just get that going. I think. Uh... And I end up with... I keep ending up with little amounts, and I think this is from when I voided the geranium. So, I don't know. I'll just void it. I hate just having part of an ingot. I mean, I could turn it into, like, nuggets if I really wanted to, but eh, I don't really care. All right. So we got our americium going. We have our black plutonium. A um, couple of other things I need to... Kinda... All right. So we got our tier 6 rocket. Uh, what wear boards we're working on. Um, still haven't sorted that out. It's probably not the basement, it's just reorganized fusion reactor, maybe. Reorganize fusion. Let's just do that. And that's going to be on there for a while because I just keep having other stuff uh, I need to do. Uh, Flux Electrum, uh, we did do. can't remember if it was last episode or the episode before. Black Plutonium we got. All right, Petri dishes. I got that set up. 
just over here, even though it's technically not a rubber. Um, but yeah, just the basic styrene, oxygen, bounce back and forth. And there is the Petri dishes with the polystyrene. I do need a uh, interface on the back of that. Or uh, I think I'm going to do storage bus. Yeah, we'll do a storage bus. I don't know if I'm ever going to be needing to like you craft with 64 of those, more than 64 of those at a time. I don't think so. Um, oh, and also it's a cylinder mold. I went ahead and made the, let's see if I do mold. It's a cylinder. Yeah, I went ahead and made a ball one, but there is, there's two different types. So uh, they look very similar. Uh, so be mindful of that. That is, uh, the cylinder is what I use for, uh, Gel tooling or to toline or however you say it. All right, so we got our petri dishes. Still haven't got to my wireless AE. Haven't got to my upgrading the PBF coils. So uh, yeah, we're kind of at wetware boards here. So let's take a look at those. I think I need. Ah oh, man, these are so expensive. With needing nether stars to make circuits, oof, it's rough. Um, but other than that, though, they're really well, I mean, who am I getting? Yeah, they're kind of bad. Uh, so let's get a pump. And a sensor crafted up. Um, I'm going to need to go drop the... I'm going to go find another order vein for order crystals. Because I am... We're like almost out. And this is what I use for nether stars now i could maybe i don't know set up question is should i could set up maybe a skeleton spawner in the nether i've heard if you do that um like the ender io spawner it will spawn with their skeletons in the nether i heard i don't know if that is true i haven't tested it um so that's maybe I could do that and set up a wither farm, like an actual wither farm. Because using the balance shards to craft another stars is, I mean, it's easy. It's just all like basic stuff I have, but I mean, I do have 17,000 sugar cane. Maybe I should uh, stop that. Um, oh well, we'll just kind of let it go. Anyway, so we need 16 of those, the multi-layer. Get how about we get those at least going. Man, 64. They use one platinum each. Didn't realize that. No wonder I go through so much platinum. Although I do have 6,000 and whatever that is. So uh, yeah, so we got that, we got that. I need a Petri dish. I have no idea where that just came from. Must have accidentally grabbed some. I wish you could pull one out. If I pull like that out, it's going to make more. But, I mean, that's not the end of the world. But, uh, yeah. We got that, we got that. All right, so growth medium. I think it's a chemical reactor, right? Not that. Um... Yeah. So basically just an LUV or higher chemical reactor. There is that recipe, but I'm going to go with no on <laughs> that. Ah, I'm stuck in the wall. All right, so do I have... I don't remember if I have a... These are IV, right? Is this... What are you? Are you IV or... Your LUV. Your LUV. That's IV. All right. Oh, I'm out of uh, europium there. I just noticed. Um. So how do I want to do this? Um. I could just do a. Would it be easier just to craft a large chemical reactor? Maybe I'll do that. 
I guess we'll leave that for now. I have 2,000 crystal. I don't need that. I kind of want to have it um, fully stocked, but uh, totally unnecessary. Um, all right, so let me think about what I want to do here. Do I want a small one, or do I want to just go ahead and craft up a... A large one. So what we'll have is a chemical reactor. See, eventually I'm assuming it'll probably be turned into that. We'll use these. Oh, it would kind of make sense to maybe get the large one because that's easier to upgrade. But uh, I don't know. Yeah, that looks like annoying. Um, let me, yeah, let me think. So I'm going to have the chemical reactor, then a fluid heat, a fluid heater. You know what? I think. Yeah, that is terrible. <laughs> Why would you ever do that when you can get it from 50 million eggs? Um, actually, I'm thinking. All right. So I decided I. I need a circuit assembler with the raw growth medium in it. So I'm thinking maybe I could put it in here. Although this is only room for two. Anyway, let me uh, do some kind of thinking here and figuring out how I want to set this up. And we are back and I'm actually in my circuit room. So uh, where I'm crafting up all the circuits right here, I have put down a chemical reactor, an LUV. I was gonna do a ZPM one, but I already had an LUV chemical reactor. Um, so I just did that. And I did a LUV fluid heater. And then, unfortunately, didn't have the easiest way of getting the um, the power. So I kinda had to be a bit weird with it, but uh, I think that's okay uh, for now, I think. Yeah, it looks a bit funny, but this wasn't really built to add more machines in it, but uh, it kind of fits right here. So, yeah. And I just realized, eh, it doesn't really matter. We'll go. I was going to, was thinking I should have the other one there, but no. So I th think that's, and then I should, I have plenty of channels on this, uh, this gray line. I have, yeah, we're good there. So, all right. So we need for the raw growth, we need Plutonium, Mericium, and Radon. So let's go ahead and get that. I can click on it. So we need uh, Black Plutonium, Mericium. I did do a recipe for this, just uh, pulverizing that. Um, oh, it looks like we have finished all the Mericium. Wow, we still have 82 left. I didn't realize we had that much left. Do I th what did I did I do sixteen? I think I did sixteen, didn't I? Yeah. All right. So we'll do. Let's do some more. I'm not using the lutetium for anything else, so I might as well just put it all into mericium. Oh, nitration mixer. All right. So we got our radon. Where am I going? Circuits. So right on in there. Yeah, I was. I figured that would be okay, but I wasn't hundred percent positive with that because I couldn't remember how I set it up. This tank. 
Yeah. Not a huge fan of that right there, but uh, yeah. It's fine for now, I think. Oops, overshot it. All right. I kind of like how the chemical reactors only had 16, as opposed to the assemblers had like 64 or 97 or something. I can't remember how much. It was a huge amount. But, uh, and I just realized I forgot capacity card. So capacity or crafting card, capacity card. So mericium, black plutonium. That should be going. Maybe I should change the recipe to do more than once, but uh, I don't. We'll see how. Uh, yeah, because am I going to be using that for anything else? I don't think so. Why don't I change that? Let's do. 16 to 16. The problem is, uh, <laughs> can I get that before it goes in the, uh, just borrow one of those. I think I can do it that way. Can I? Yeah. All right. So 16 to 16. There we go. All right. That should work better. It just feels bad using this stuff. It was so different. It doesn't, it's not it just takes so long to get. And here I am, like, using it all up. Um, but I'm not crafting any uh, UV components at the moment, so. All right, so we got our Mercium, we got our Black Plutonium. And these circuits are freaking expensive. Holy cow. We'll see how much I use them. Um, crystal circuits are just so much, like, I guess not cheaper, but, I mean, they are cheaper need so much more of them. All right, so that's output. Go. And I don't think that's going to cause an issue with my cables. Like I said, I have been very generous with the amount of amps. Oh, uh, lane cable. Although, up oh, there it goes. Sometimes it just takes a while to Sort itself out. All right, so there is the raw growth medium. We'll put that right into the fluid uh, heater. This is a fluid heater, right? Yeah. The recipe is very similar to the fluid solidifier, I think. Um, I need a circuit, and was the circuit was. Uh, one. Put that in there. I'll put, I think this only accepts like, doesn't that only accept like 500 or, I don't know, not 500. All right. I was thinking it was 1,000, but maybe it's 1,600. I hope it's not like, 50,000 or something. Because that's just going to go tear through my Americium. Alright, so 8. I'm assuming that's probably 8 then. That's not too bad. Until I hook up the next part. Alright, so there is the sterilized growth medium. And that is what we use to make the... Wetware circuit boards. Now, this has to be done in a circuit assembler. 
That's the first one that needs to be done in a circuit assembler as opposed to a chemical reactor. Oh, and by the way, instead of using the single chemical reactor, I did debate whether using this, but uh, I figured that would be just kind of annoying trying to get having it turn off when I had enough kind of thing. So yeah, I didn't do that. Anyway. Um, yeah, so we need another circuit assembler. Question is, ooh, 60 seconds. Although this is, does 16 at once. So really it's, if you think 16 divided by that, it's less than like, it's like what? Two seconds each, which isn't too bad. Uh, but maybe we should do ZPM. Well, we have to do ZPM, I think, because... Yeah, ZPM is the only thing we have in here at the moment. Uh, how do I... Maybe we'll put it up top, maybe, above it. Um, these machines may fight for them if all three are on at once, but you're not going to lose the thing. All right, so let me go ahead and craft up a new circuit assembly machine. Um, obviously, these are one of the most difficult uh, machines to craft at tier because we do need an emitter. Although... That it may actually not be that bad anymore. Because I probably got a whole bunch of plutonium. 241. Yep, I did. All right, so that's not that bad anymore. Uh, we did use trinium earlier, but uh, yeah. All right, so let me get this crafted up and we will come back. All right, so I got all the parts for the advanced circuit machine. There we go. Um, I did have a bit of an issue, which I knew this was a possibility um, with overlapping kind of components or recipes. But uh, instead of making a piston, the, uh, the assembly line made a second conveyor. It used the two motors in there because they had similar parts. So I had to make another two motors, which um, that's kind of, I kind of know that's gonna happen if it puts a whole bunch of stuff in there um, in the chest, unfortunately. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not, it's really not the end of the world. All right, but we got the circuit assembler. We need an export. Need the sterilized growth medium. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is a diode. This is never going to, like, burn up. There's never going to be, like, explosions or anything. Um, it just may... They might fight a little bit. Um, but if it becomes an uh, issue, we can always change it. I think I'm just going to put it there. I just realized I forgot a interface. that in there and then yeah we'll just put this on the back I guess that works I think I think I have enough channels over here I haven't even I didn't even check actually which thing are we on I don't remember orange Well, I do need to change this. I didn't realize I had so many channels in here, actually. I think that will work. I can never know what the 
the dense cable and the interfaces if they connect like is that going to be a problem that might be an issue though actually uh, nine let me check over no we have enough uh where are we I guess well, I might as well just change this out while we're here. To, uh... Let's get, I think that works, I think, right? Can't remember. Um, I did, I had that in the uh, old base, but I don't remember actually. I had nine channels, I think. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, so we got yeah. It should be good. It just takes a second to kind of sort itself out. So input side, we'll do that. And I just need to make sure this is online. Yeah, all right, perfect. Now, the wetware circuits were what? The multi-layered, I did, and I thought I crafted 16. Oh, they probably got used in the, uh, when I made the robot arm, that's probably what happened. All right, so what else? That needs to go in there. Oh, we got the petri dish, we got the pump, we got the sensor. I'm doing the multi-layer boards. Uh, crystal circuit and the niobium foils, which I do not have a, see now I'm gonna use, <laughs> I'm gonna use that again. Oh well. I keep uh, making the boards and then using them. Uh, the niobium, I guess, yeah, I made a recipe for it, but this takes two, two things. I definitely have got to add more channels to that room over there. Um, I may actually just, for the time being, how many does this require? Let's do a stack. So, like, I'll do, um... I'll just make these manually and then I will kind of sort out the channels. I think I'm just going to have to do a third. Yeah, I'm just going to have to do a third one, I think, in here, which will open up a lot of channels. I could see if, I don't know if, I would have to kind of like go around, but I really don't think I'm going to be able to lower the amount of any, like, of anything I need it's just like I'm short on the recipes is kind of the issue so I can't like I don't think there's any way I can like lower the amount of channels anyway um I will worry about that in between episodes I think um but let's turn these Man, I really need to get wireless A. I will look into that uh, in between episodes as well and get that crafted up, I think, as soon as possible. I think it's like next on my to-do list. All right, so there is those. So is it one per board? Yeah, that's actually not that bad. One foil per board. Yeah, I'm not, that's not too bad. All right, so the crystal circuit, we got that. And then the multi-layer, I need one more. And just waiting for the oils. 
and the chemical reactor. And is it, that's, no, that's the chemical reactors also. Anyway, so there is that. So we got double check. Yeah. So in the middle, hose, pump, sensor, crystal circuit, aluminum foil. And this is going to take a little while. The reason I did um, the reason I did a ZPM instead of like an LEV, which I could have done, was because the express B is sixty seconds, so at least it is sped up a bit. But like I said, you get sixteen out of this, so it's like two seconds. But although this is like circuit boards, though, I don't know. Um, there's other ones that this is not not horribly slow at all. Um, but man, that's, <laughs> that makes it pretty expensive. All right, so there is that done. We got our wetware boards here. Pretty sure it's that one. Yeah. All right, so there is the wetware boards. I wonder if we, yeah, wireless and figuring out my fusion reactor is the next thing. Um, we still got a decent amount of, yeah, still haven't got the loot stream. Um, why don't we go ahead and craft this up and then, uh, oh, that's right. Just kidding. <laughs> we need the neuroprocessing unit and I haven't gotten that set up quite yet. Right, where are you? You're right there. Yeah, this is kind of where they start getting really expensive, these things, because it's like a... You need you, you matter, and all sorts of stuff. Oof, all right. Yeah, I haven't kind of decided how much I'm gonna use of these circuits, just because they are so expensive. Is it worth it to use these over, say, crystal circuits? I don't know. Um, I always like to kind of do the highest tier circuit as I can, but I don't know if I'm going to be using this for like LUV circuits. It just almost doesn't even feel worth it. I don't know. I'll think about that. Um, I have a couple things to set up, but I forgot about this one. So we need, why don't we get this crafted up? So we got that recipe, we need this, we need a huge amount of niobium oil. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad we have a lot of niobium now from getting to the new planet. So I am very happy about that. That should go. Yeah, I didn't even look at what Oh, it just needs uh, HV, so that is a lot of this. Maybe I should make a bigger, a bigger tank there. Uh, maybe the 4,000. I don't know. We'll see how much of this we actually end up using. Um, but there is the wet wear or extreme wet wear life support circuit board craziness. Um, I don't know if I have enough things over here either. Um, I may have to add some more interfaces on there as well for all the, the things. So I have a little bit of work to do uh, in between episodes, kind of sorting out uh, channels and stuff. And I almost, no, I think we have a couple more on this one. So I think we're good over here. Yeah. I have six more channels to use in the circuit room, so that is not an issue. Um, I'm gonna have to... Yep. It looks like I'm either gonna have to add a new input bus or do the whole chest thing, which I'll probably end up doing the chest. Oh, I have some right there. Just kidding. I do have room. Over there, so... uh. Yeah, I may actually just move these. I like having them. 
kind of like all organized. That way? I think it's that way. We'll put those in there. All right. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, making some decent progress. And then uh, what this will let us do basically is get the UHV tier uh, if we need. So uh, those unfortunately are locked behind this research station. So I may be getting into uh, tech tech sooner than later here. But I need to wrap up this episode. Uh, so uh, next episode we'll come back and hopefully progress a little bit more. So thanks for watching and have a good one.